I'm Elena Coulter and I'm a conservation educator at the Salado Wildlife Education Center. Today, we will be talking about one of my favorite mid-sized predators, the bobcat. Bobcats are apex predators in their environment, which means that they are at the top of their food chain without any natural predators of their own here in Kentucky. This is important because they help to maintain the balance of other animal populations within the ecosystem. Now, you may be wondering, well, how do they do this? And this is because they are carnivores, which means that they only eat meat. So their diet consists of mostly small mammals like rabbits, mice, and squirrels, the occasional bird, and even young white-tailed deer. Now, in order for the bobcat to be a successful hunter, it uses three main skills or adaptations. The first one that we will be talking about today is camouflage. So camouflage means to blend in with your surroundings. And the bobcat does this very well. Bobcat's fur can vary in coloration and patterns depending on the individual. So for example, this bobcat fur I have here is a combination of grays with no spots on the top outer coat and a lot of spots underneath. So bobcat's fur can also be various shades of brown or tan with a lot of spots or little to no spots. These color and pattern combinations help the bobcat blend in with its surroundings. The second and most interesting skill that bobcats use is their leaping ability. So bobcats can actually catch their prey with a leaping pounce of 10 feet. Could you imagine if we could jump 10 feet in a single leap? Ugh. I sure wish I could. After the bobcat catches its prey, it uses one more specific adaptation that helps it to consume that prey. Could you take a guess on what that adaptation may be? If you guess teeth, you are correct. So like we said earlier, bobcats are carnivores. So they need sharp, specialized teeth like these canines to help them rip through the meat of their prey. A common question we get asked is, if bobcats are at the top of their food chain without any natural predators in Kentucky, then why don't we see them more often? And that's a great question. So bobcats are mostly nocturnal, which means that they do most of their hunting and other activities at night. So they live also in mixed forests, grassland areas, and abandoned agriculture areas, as well as mountainous regions. So even if you are close to one, the likelihood of you spotting it is very low, because like we said earlier, Bobcats use camouflage very, very well. Most people who do spot a bobcat in the wild normally see them while hunting from a deer or turkey stand. In fact, bobcat populations are so abundant here in Kentucky that it supports its own hunting season. If you like to hunt or are interested in getting involved with hunting or trapping, all you need is your hunter education card and a hunting or trapping license. To get your license and learn more about season-specific regulations and requirements, you can visit the Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources website at fw.ky.gov. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit more about Kentucky's bobcats, and maybe you'll get a chance to spot one in the wild someday for yourself. Remember, the next time you stop by the Salado Center to look for our bobcats at the bobcat exhibit. Have a great day.